When it comes to EVs, politicians and automakers of the Western world seem to be in the constant gridlock and often produce only an endless stream of loud promises. China, on the other hand, is rapidly becoming the world's cradle of electric cars. However, despite these huge numbers, the majority of Chinese electric cars are targeted only on the local market. We rarely get a chance to learn much about their newcomers, and even less so, see them on the roads. In today's episode of Automotive Territory, we will cover the most interesting EVs from China that are gearing up to conquer the international market or have managed to leak into our informational field in 2020. Subscribe to the channel to support the electric revolution, ring the notification bell, and enjoy the ride! Xiaopeng P7 This four-door coupe is the second model of the Xiaopeng startup that is going to hit production lines in 2020. The P7 is built on the brand's new SEPA platform that enables both single-motor rear-wheel drive and dual-motor all-wheel drive configurations. Both get paired with an 81 kWh battery pack that has high energy density of 170 Wh per 2.2 pounds of weight. In the case of the rear-wheel drive model, it should be good enough for 306 EPA miles, while the expected range for the dual-motor sedan has not been announced yet. Just like the G3 SUV, the P7 will get level 3 autonomy enabled by 47 smart sensors and radars. The car will be also packed with the latest innovation tech, including phone as a key, facial recognition, intelligent assistant with voice control, plus large infotainment and digital cluster screens. NIO EC6 The Chinese company NIO can be called a crossover brand, since its current production lineup includes three models of this body style. The EC6 is the newest one, and basically, it is a so-called scoop SUV version of the compact ES6. The vehicle gets three battery pack options, 70, 84 and 100 kWh, with the latter extending the range to 267 miles. The three available trims of the EC6 are additionally differentiated by the drivetrain configuration. The top-tier model is powered by a tandem of a permanent magnet and induction motors, with a combined output up to 544 horses and the expected acceleration to 16 pH and 4.7 seconds. As usual, this Neo greets you with an abundance of screens and optional panoramic roof that extends through the entire cabin. Byton and Byte This all-electric vehicle brand was established in 2017 and revealed its first concept car in January 2018. Two years later, Byton arrived to Las Vegas again with a production model that will be ready to enter the North American market in the late 2020. The m -Byte gets a modern exterior, full pack of equipment and a competitive price tag starting at $45,000. The model features streamlined C-shaped bodywork with matrix LED headlights and diamond-shaped daytime running lights. However, its defining feature is set in sight, and it is a 48-inch curved widescreen display located just under the windshield. The m -Byte base rear-wheel drive configuration gets a 272 horsepower motor and a 72 kWh battery, good for 188 miles of EPA estimated range. While the all-wheel drive model makes 408 HP and offers around 240 miles of driving. Polestar Precept we all know Polestar as the high-performance electrified subsidiary of Valvo, but since it's currently owned by the Chinese conglomerate Geely, all of the upcoming Polestars will be manufactured in China instead of Sweden. In 2020, the well-known Polestar 1 and 2 EVs are joined by the intriguing concept that delivers a true GT feel, despite having two doors too many. The car has athletic but minimalistic design and a generous 122.4-inch wheelbase. The front area accommodates lots of smart sensors and lidars, called Polestar Smart Zone, enabling full vehicle autonomy. The model is rumored to offer from 300 to 390 miles of range, and also focuses on being as eco-friendly as possible. The plastic waste in the interior is reduced by 80%. The specially developed flex-based composites are used for the seat backs and interior panels, while the upholstery and carpeting 
is made from the recycled PET bottles, cork vinyl, and fishing nets. Would you like to see these Chinese electric cars sold in your country? Review the entire list and share your top picks in the comments. Like this episode to support the EV revolution and let's keep going! MG ZS EV MG is a British automotive brand with a 100 years history most known for its two-seater sports cars. Currently, it belongs to the Chinese giant SAIC Motor Corporation and since 2011 produces automobiles for the British, European, Australian and Asian markets. Their latest introduction is the affordable electric family crossover MG ZS EV that will cost 25,000 British pounds after the plug-in car grant. The affordable price, however, is not without its downsides. The single charge range is somewhat underwhelming, 145 EPA miles. The motor is 143 horsepower and 260 pound-feet strong, and the infotainment is far from intuitive. However, the ample boot space of 445 liters or 15.7 cubic feet, standard MG Pilot driver assistance package and appealing exterior design might just persuade buyers to overlook the competitors in favor of the MG. Aweiwei CU5 This is the first all-electric SUV from a Chinese startup to be certified for sale in Europe. The Aweiwei CU5 is scheduled to start deliveries in August 2020, and it will try to compete an affordable crossover segment. The model is equipped with a 63 kWh battery that provides up to 218 miles of EPA estimated range. Its e-motor delivers 190 horsepower and 232 pound-feet of torque to the front axle. Additionally, the Chinese company promises that the vehicle will require no maintenance until it covers its first 62,000 miles. The U5 will come standard with full LED lights, huge panoramic roof, electric boot and the 12.3-inch infotainment touchscreen. Initially, the model is expected to be available as a lease-only vehicle, with a monthly payment around 400 euros, depending on the trim level and equipment. Xiaopeng G3 First revealed in 2017 under the name Identity X, this battery electric crossover is often referred to as a Chinese Model X. Unlike its American counterpart, though, the G3 is motivated by a 197 horsepower electric motor that is only capable of 106 mph speeds and 0 to 60 acceleration of 8.5 seconds. For the 2020 model year, the SUV has been announced to add a host of upgrades that focus on improving its range and drivability. It is now offered in two modifications, both of which get new energy dense batteries from CATL. The base model features a 50 kWh pack with 174 miles of EPA range, while the long range is rated for 66 kWh and 225 miles. It also rides on modified chassis and gets new X-Pilot 2.5 driving autonomy tech. Geely Geometry A The Geely conglomerate is launching an independent global high-end pure electric brand that is scheduled to release 10 new EVs by the year 2025. Their first lineup entry is a mid-size sedan labeled Geometry A, which is expected to arrive in six different configurations. The major feature to determine the pricing, though, will be the battery size. The ACE will be equipped with the CATL Turnery lithium batteries of two sizes, 51.9 and 61.9 kWh, with 180 and 220 miles of range when converted to the EPA cycle. Geely is introducing new tech to increase the efficiency of the 161 horsepower motor labeled Intelligent Power and Intelligent Battery Temperature Control System. All the geometry models will be geared up with the Level 2 Plus autonomy tech from the factory, and it should be operational at the speeds up to 94 miles per hour. NEO ES8 In production since 2018, the ES8 is the first SUV model from NEO and its largest vehicle so far. It has three rows of seats and is available in two configurations, as a 6 or a 7-seater. Starting from 2020, the ES8 sits on a revised chassis that consists of 96% aluminum. 
It has slightly updated exterior and rides on 21 inch wheels, wrapped in Conti steel self repair tires, and fitted with bamboo brakes. The drivetrain setup is also modified. The SUV gets one permanent magnet and one induction magnet motor that together produce 544 HP and 534 pound feet of torque and can be paired with the three battery options 70, 84, or 100 kWh. The largest pack is rated for 250 PA miles, while the smallest one offers around 180. All of them support fast charging and are swappable, which means that you can upgrade to more capacity over time. Byton K Byte This executive sedan is lined up as the second model from the Chinese startup that makes its major focus on the autonomy and connectivity of the car. It rides on the same platform as the m -Byte crossover, has elegant sloping roofline and a panoramic roof that spans across the entire length of the car. The peculiar retractable LiDAR sensors that could be seen on the sides below the side view cameras are a part of the Byton LiGuard system that ensures level 4 autonomy. The car is capable of communicating with the pedestrians and can alter its front fascia the a Byton smart surface with interactive animated designs. Buyers of the k byte will be able to choose between two modifications with a single and dual motor setup. A 71 kWh 272 HP rear-wheel drive or a 95 kWh 476 HP all-wheel drive with 250 and 325 miles of range respectively. Baojun E300 Baojun is a joint venture of General Motors, SAAC Motor, and Willing that started producing tiny all-electric city cars back in 2017. The three-door E300 is the newest model in the company's range, and it will join the existing E100 and E200 cars in 2020. The 103-inch long car rides on the small 12-inch wheels and, depending on the modification, sits from 2 to 4 people. The base model gets a 39 horsepower electric motor and a 16.8 kWh battery that should be good for 161 miles of range, while the more powerful Plus version is motivated by the 55 HP motor and a larger pack. Though its exact capacity has not been revealed yet, Baojun estimates that it will have enough juice to cover 217 miles distances. When the already huge numbers of electric cars made in China will be joined by the Tesla Shanghai output, there will be no question who dictates the trends in the electric car world. Let us know what you think about the models presented in the lineup and would you like to see them sold in your country. Share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, like this episode and watch more EV news. May the torque be with you!